Do you consider yourself an agnostic atheist? Uh, depending on the definition of knowledge, yes. Okay. So can we, can we can I address this because I find it to be inherently contradictory then because uh, I feel that the the distinction you guys give is, is that well, you know that there's that there's no you can't prove that there's no god. However, a lack of a belief is therefore uh, the only conclusion. So it's you can have a non-belief but then saying that non-belief is both agnostic and atheist. It's redundant, right? Am I well, why, why would it be redundant? If theism and atheism address belief, and Gnosticism and agnosticism address knowledge, and knowledge is a subset of belief, then how can they possibly be in conflict? Well, and to be fair, let me clarify. What do you think atheism is first? Because I think I found the confusion. A rejection of deity or deities. Sure. And actually, I, I would say that it would be rejection of the proposition that a deity or a deity exists. Because rejection of deities could, could include somebody who believes a god exists but rejects them on some other, you know, rejects worshiping them, things like that. So it's, it's necessarily tied to belief. Okay, but what, why do you guys, my problem is you separate belief. Shouldn't it someone that has a pursuit of knowledge, a pursuit of love? I don't care about, I don't I have, care about knowledge. I don't care about what people claim as knowledge because we don't wait until we have knowledge of something to act upon it. You act in accordance with your beliefs. Knowledge is a subset of beliefs. And while it's nifty that we claim to know things, um, it's more important what we actually believe or do not believe because that's all it takes to inform actions. Well, that's my, po my, my point. We act from ignorance today because we're in this form of pragmatism rather than principles. Uh, we, you, you, have, you, you have basically a position here where you're saying you know that you're ignorant on the position, but you're going to act against it accordingly. Uh, I'm not, I'm when not, it seems to be there, There's a disjunction between I do not believe and I don't know. And the don't know is something that applies more accurately to the anti-theist position. And mm -hmm. so it would be a Gnostic anti-theist, I guess, would be, um, would be that. Uh, so l let me clarify. You got, do you, so do you actually that, that you, you, know, you accept uh, the atheism to be the rejection, though, of deity or deities, just to simplify it? You, are the, you the, said yourself. The, the, normative, of the normal definition that I use now is that atheism is the rejection of theistic claims. Right. That's it. So if you're going, to, so that isn't that a cognitive dissonance if you do not know, but then you're going to choose to believe something that you don't know. No, I don't need to know something in order to believe it. So on this, on this, the example I used to use a courtroom example. Let me try something completely different. You ever seen one of those things where there's a uh, a jar on a counter and it's full of like gumballs, and they have a contest to see who can guess closest to the actual number of gumballs? Sure. Okay. So as long as there's gumballs in that jar, you and I would agree that the number of gumballs is either even or odd, correct? Uh, so evidently, it would have to be, yes. Okay. So what's the default position on the number of gumballs? Uh, the number of gumballs uh, as a numerical number or as a, ra or as a rounded position? Uh, the, no the, quantity being, the quantity of gumballs being either even or odd, what's the default position? The default position is neutral. Yes. Um, but if somebody asserts the number of gumballs in this jar, I believe, is even. I'm the, if, I, if I'm in the default position, I disbelieve that assertion. I do not accept that assertion. I reject that assertion. That doesn't mean that I think that the number is odd. Right. Because we only, we only address a single prong of a dilemma at a time. And I completely agree with this. Okay. That this is uh, fundamentally logically deductive sure. logic. Yes, sir. Sure. So either a god exists or it doesn't. And a theist is, is offering the proposition that a god exists. The number of gumballs is even. And I am rejecting their assertion. Theism is the acceptance of that position. And atheism is the rejection of that position. It's not the assertion that there are no gods. Mm -hmm. oh, we still on the same page? Yes, sir. Okay. So I don't believe their assertion. I also don't claim to know that their assertion is false. This is where the disjunct was that I talked about, because that, that knowledge claim actually applies to uh, the confusion that atheism is the assertion that there is no God. Fair enough. That makes sense.